In this lesson I'm going to show you how to do contour cutting in the program which is basically setting an outline around existing objects so they can be later sent to a printer cutter or sent to a printer and then to a separate vinyl cutter. To do that or to illustrate that I'll import a vinyl master logo which you've also got in your samples folder this bird here will do. I'll drag that out and what we've got here, I'll put it into wireframe just to make the point, you've just got some curves here okay, that have been back into normal mode, normal view. You've got some curves here that have had an effect applied and on top, which is this effect here, like a shading effect and then on top of this we've got a drop shadow as you can see here which has been applied to the uh, to the image like that. So we've got this sort of like compound effect going on here <clears throat> and we want to uh, create a contour cut line that goes around the edge of this thing so that we can then send that to a printer cutter or send it and print it and then send it to a vinyl cutter. Now to do that it's pretty easy, you select the object you come over to this tool over here, this flyout, and you go down to contour cutting like here, and you, as, you, as it says, you open the contour cutting window, so I click on that, and the contour cutting window comes up, and as you can see, we've got our image in, or our uh, object in here ready to go. Now, I've got some outline options here, some image effect options, and some color options. The first thing we're going to look at is between relative and absolute, so I put it on absolute, it's set to zero, zero inches, and as you can see, it's put this cut line around the edge of this object here at 0 inches offset. So if I say, say set that to 0.2 inch offset you can see what's happening here. So you've got this nice offset going around like that and it's coming right around this object and uh, doing what we want to do. Now if I set that to say 0.1 shall make it relative so I get these up and down arrows here you can see there's this little hole here I can uncheck that and see how it removes that so if I put that back on you'll see how that it's, I've got keep holes checked on and you've got the hole there, but if I check that off it ignores this hole and it'll do that you know depending on the, the artwork itself you might have a lot of holes you might not have any it just depends on what you've got so I'll change that back to absolute and another thing we've got option here is this smooth sharp round and mitered if I make it mitered you can see that it's it's mitering it off and chopping all the, uh, the shapes off I can make it round so it rounds off the edges here as you can see very rounded effect um, sharp so you've got this very sharp type look going on and uh, you've also got smooth. Now again this will, what you use, what tool you use here, what corner style you set, it really depends on the artwork and what you're trying to achieve. Um, you know some look very different to others. You know in this particular case, case uh, uh, round sort of suits this one I would say. Now the other thing you've got here which you might notice uh, is you'll see the drop shadow isn't actually being included. See that around there? So it's looking at this, it's actually looking at the curves of the object but it's ignoring the drop shadow. So that's actually easily overcome in Vinyl Master. All you do is you click on Auto Trace Effects here and you'll see this, this button highlights or is now clickable. And if I click on this the program automatically takes over now and you'll see it'll load up the vectorizer and it's all going on its own here and it's actually vectorizing around the, uh, the, around the curves and as you can see it's actually now including the drop shadow. So it gives you best of both worlds. If you don't want to include an effect like a glow or a drop shadow or something extending past the uh, bounds of the object you can ignore those. If you do want to include them then you just check this Auto Trace Effects and Auto Vectorize and they're included. Now down here under the color, color options this is here if you want to actually set a particular color for the contour cut line. So if I check that off you'll see it's black because that's the color currently selected. If I make that say red you'll see how it becomes red. Now for normal run of the mill work you'd leave this as checked on create contour color, color contours using cut color. That's so that the vinyl master rip will work automatically with your printer cutter. But if you need to override that because your machine uh, needs a particular RGB color set for its contour cut line you can do that. You've got that option. So now that we're happy with this actual uh, contour cut we can click accept and you can see it comes back in now with this contour cut line ready to cut around the shape of this, uh, of this object including the drop shadow. If I zoom into that you can see that it's doing that there and having this selected you see up here it's actually showing you in the, uh, in the fill there that it's actually a system color. Okay, it's a contour cut color which is this thing here. So the programs automatically set all that for you and that's all you have to do. If you send that to the RIP it'll take over and it'll actually send it to a printer cutter with this contour cut line ready to go for you. 
So that's all fairly much automatic and there's an actual lesson on that itself so that's easy to work out how to do that. There's a manual reposition module for separate printers and separate vinyl cutters that you can uh, do all that with the program. Now if I've got an image like this one here and I want to actually contour cut this, the first thing I've got to do is give it a, uh, a line to outline this and I can do that using the mask tools. So go create edit mask here and this is an easy image. I've, I've chosen this so that it's just a quick thing to show you here. I can just quickly mask all that out by doing that. I click accept and now this image is now ready to contour cut and if I come up here I've got contour cutting up here or back over here where I showed you before. So click on that. When you've got an image the program automatically detects that. If I click yes here it'll automatically vectorize this image as you can see there. I'm not doing any of this. This is all automated. It's finding the contours and it's returned it ready to go and I want to contour cut around the edge of this. So I might just do this like this. Again I can change my corners you know to round sharp whatever I like and I've got keep holes checked on. I don't want these little holes here so I check that off. They get removed. I'm happy with that um, and, I, and you'll see here it's automatically checked auto trace images so the program recognizes this as an image and done this all automatically for you. I click accept and as you can see around this image it's done exactly the same thing. Now this contour cutting thing actually applies to any other uh, object, like I could contour cut this, this piece of text here. Same thing. If I go like that, as you can see, and I can uncheck keep holes, it removes all the holes, I can put those back in, uh, and I can set, you know, I can get it just the way I want it, so I might not want this to have this situation here, so I might make it just a little bit bigger and I can remove that. So I can actually create a contour cut line around any uh, vector object or an image and as you can see there that's ready to go and that's contour cutting.